Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how you can automatically deliver the files to your customers on successful payments in Instamojo. In place of Instamojo, you can use any payment gateway software like Razorpay, PayPal, etc. Well, I am going to do this process by integrating two software that is Instamojo and Google Drive. But there is an issue, and the issue is both Instamojo. and google drive do not have any sort of integration between them and that is why i am going to use integration software public connect with the help of public connect we can transfer the data from instamojo to google drive and the best part here is we do not require any knowledge of coding so let me show you this on my screen okay so this is basically a product named as kid storytelling book and i'm going to buy this product and after that we are going to check if we have received a file or not for that let me buy it and fill in the details okay so this is my email address phone number next now i basically have to buy this product let me buy let me do the payment now okay so our payment is successful for the product that we recently purchased and now let us go and check if we have received a file or not for that we are going to check on our gmail account so this is my gmail account let me refresh it and yes i have received a product so as i said this is basically a product payment details at first email and the next email that i got is this one in which i have received a file successfully in my gmail account so basically we can say that whenever there is a payment received in insta mojo a google drive file will be automatically sent via gmail on real time with the help of public connect and you can also do it how let me show you for that just search for pabli.com in your browser first okay so this is basically the website of pabli.com next just click on products and then click on connect after that just click on sign in so since i have already signed in to my account this is the screen that is appearing in front of us you can also create your own free account in just 2 minutes Next just scroll down and click at access now at connect. Okay. So after that this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here click on create workflow and now we are going to name the workflow. I'm going to name it as Instamojo to Google Drive. And I'm going to create it. But before that let me tell you one thing I will attach the link of this workflow in the description box as well so just in case you want to access this workflow you can directly clone it into your account by signing it for free now let me create this workflow okay so this is basically the trigger window and at choose a trigger we are going to choose the application and since first we want to integrate our first application that is instamojo to pabli connect that's why we are going to select instamojo to our first application the next is we have to select that trigger event now you must be thinking what am i talking about this trigger window trigger event and everything related to that so let me tell you basically automation runs on two simple concept that is triggers and action trigger is when this happens and action is do this connecting it with our use case today is whenever there is a new payment received on instamojo a google drive file will be automatically sent via gmail on real time with the help of public connect that's why for the trigger event we are going to select the new sale now in case you want more trigger events or action events of your choice then you simply have to click on this option that is request integration and here you can request any sort of integration like trigger events action events etc moving forward you can see the webhook url has been generated Now let me tell you about webhook. Webhook is basically an essential way to get data from the external software at Publisend. So this webhook helps you to build a connection between the triggering software application and Publi Connect. Next what you have to do is simply copy this webhook URL. And now we are going to move to our Instamojo account. 
okay here i'm going to create a new product and my product will be a digital product and i have recently created a product to show you so let me show you the details of the product so details are the product title i have added the product title as kg english book i have set up the price as 10 rupees i have also set up the product description and filled in the description it's just some random description to actually tell you how am i going to create my product then the product category is books and magazine Moving forward, I have also added an image. You can also create your product simply from your Instamojo account. And after that, what you have to do is just edit your product and move to advanced setting like me. Scroll down and you will find a webhook URL over here. So you just have to copy and paste your webhook URL. Since I've already copied it, now I'm going to paste it. I've simply pasted my webhook URL. And next thing that we are going to do is click on add product to store. Okay, so I think I have missed a product image. So let me add the product image here. Let me choose a product image. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, so this is the image of my product. I'm done with everything. Next we can simply do is add product to store. Okay, so after that the product will be created and added to the store. Let us see. Yes, the new product that I have recently created created is added to the store. This is the product. Next thing that you are going to do is move back to your public connect account. Click on capture webhook response. Again, move to your Instamojo account. Now here we are going to buy the product. Let us buy this product and fill in the details. Okay, the name is Ashirai. My email address is Okay, next is the phone number. Okay, so this is basically my phone number. Next, I'm gonna pay. Okay, so I have done the successful payment of the product that I recently purchased. Now we have to move to our Pabli Connect account and let us see if the webhook response has been generated. So yes, so webhook response has been generated. Details has been captured by Pabli Connect like the buyer's email address, buyer's name, number, the price unit, and everything related to that. So we have all the details from the product purchase. Our first step is completed that we have integrated our first application that is Instamojo to Pabli Connect. Now we will move to the second step that is now we are going to integrate a Google Drive to Pabli Connect. For that, click on this option that is the plus button and here we are going to choose the application as Google Drive. So this is a Google Drive application. After that, here we have to select the action event. Now the action event here will be share a file or a folder ID. Simply click on this option. After that, click on connect with Google Drive. Now again, click on connect with Google Drive. Here you basically have to select the account in which you have your Google Drive file. So this is my account. I'm gonna select this account and I'm gonna allow it. You can also allow it and don't worry, your data is 100% secure with Public Connect. Now my authorization is successful. Now we can see set of blanks in front of us. Now we are going to fill this blanks and map the details here. At first we have file or folder ID. Here we basically have to map the folder ID or file that we want to send to the person making the payment. Let me show you there are some of the folders and files that are present in my drive. So these are some of the files and folders that are present and that is why it is reflecting here because at this stage we are connected with Google Drive. Let me click on this option. Okay, so here I'm gonna basically select the folder ID and this is my folder ID that I wanna select for now because in this folder I have my file that I will be going to actually deliver to the person making the payment or buying my product. So let me select it. You can select your old folder ID so actually I have recently created this file. That's why I'm selecting it. How I created it. I just moved to my Google Drive. Here I have added a file folder and then I have created a file into it. Let me show you. So this is basically KG English book. This is the file that I want to send to the person who is buying my product that I've recently created. That's why I selected this folder ID. The name of the folder ID was KG English book. And in this, I have my file that is a 
Google Doc file that is KG English book. That's why I selected this file and folder. Moving back to our Babli Connect account, I selected this. Now moving forward, we have email. Here we are going to map the buyer's email. So let me map it from here. Click on this option. And the email is this. This is the buyer's email. I'm going to map it. Next is the role. Here we have to select the specific role. What is this role? This is basically some kind of permission that you are going to give. There are three options available. Let me show you. These are three options that if you want to allow the person to actually only view it or he or she can also edit the file or he or she can also comment on the file. I'm going to keep it as scan view only and you can select the option according to your choice. Next, what you can do is just simply click on save and send that test request. After that, you can see the API response has been generated and this data actually means that we have integrated a second application as well. That is Google Drive to Pabli Connect. Let me minimize this window. Now I'm going to show you if I have received a file via Gmail or not the file that we have recently purchased. Let us move to our Gmail account. This is my Gmail account. There's a new email. Let me open it for you. So yes, I have received a file. Let me show you. This is the file that I actually purchased. Let me open it for you. So yes, as I've shown you in my Google Drive, this is the file that I have created and I want to send this file to the person making the payment or buying my product. And this file now will be delivered to the person actually buying my product. This basically means we have completed and successfully integrated our two application that is Instamojo to Google Drive. What we did is first we integrated our Instamojo to Public Connect and then we integrated our Public Connect account to Google Drive. Now what will happen is whenever there is a payment received on Instamojo, a Google Drive file will be automatically sent to the person making the payment on real time basis with the help of automation software Public Connect. Not just these two application, but we can integrate n number of application with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, then you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com or you can also visit our website that is www.pabli.com. Thank you.